it's Margaret Wallace Duffy and welcome to Let's Just Do This. We are very excited to kick off 2018 with some amazing shows and of course I'm always happy to have sitting right next to me the handsome devil of a co-host that I have, Mr. Todd Miller. <laughs> Where else would I rather be than starting 2018 right here? You betcha, you betcha. <laughs> and I know that we've got tons of feedback from all of you at home, both online and in broadcast, that how much you're enjoying these shows. We want to continue to hear from you. Send in your texts and your emails. Let us know what you want to hear about. Or we can help connect you to the amazing change makers that are sitting here at our table. So let's get started by kicking off 2018 with a, a topic that is near and dear to my heart, making seniors matter. So today we have two very special guests in studio with us. Um, and I first like to introduce Dr. Ban Watt. Dr. Ban Watt uh, first did his degree in engineering at Delhi Uni uh, University and did his PhD at Birmingham University in the UK. He came to Canada 46 years ago and worked at Atomic and Ener Energy of Canada for 35 years and retired as a principal engineer and specialist. During this period, he worked as a volunteer in many organizations, as, as, such as the Canadian Society for Mechanical Engineers Canada, as well as the president of that society. He has also volunteered with the Canadian Standards, uh, Standards Association in the development of nuclear standards for 15 years, as well as many other organizations. This voluntary work got his name included in the Who is Who Canada book. Since his retirement eight years ago, he's been busy. He's been working with seniors. Some of, some of the things that our seniors need and should learn about, such as learning computer skills, socialization, entertainment, elder abuse, safety, and much more. Um, he is the exec he's on the executive of the Mississauga Seniors Council and is involved in computer training for seniors to empower them with new technology. Welcome, right. Dr. Banwat. Thank you very much. We're yeah. thrilled to have you to the show. Right. Now, the person sitting next to him is someone that we're very familiar with, a good friend of Let's Just Do This, the co-founder of Making Our Seniors Matter, Elizabeth Cunningham. Welcome. Happy New Year, Margaret. Happy New Year. <laughs> We are thrilled to have you both sitting here and the reason we're doing this, and we're gonna start with you, Liz, this morning, is because we get exposed to incredible people like Dr. Banwat mm -hmm. because of organizations like Making Our Seniors Matter. Thank you. Recently, um, the government, the Ministry of Ontario, the Minister of Seniors Affairs, There's, the government of Ontario, right. has given some funding for this amazing initiative called Seniors Speak, yes. which is a podcast put on by seniors for seniors where they can share stories and challenges and really help to educate and inspire one another and you were behind this. Can you just kick it off by talking about that because this amazing gentleman was a guest on the show on that show just recently. He was and we were thrilled. We started Thank this you. as you remember we've done podcasts quite a few over the over the years and we've always brought in experts to speak and we've had seniors as our topics. But this time, the opportunity came around to apply for a grant from the government uh, to have seniors speak for themselves. Instead of saying what we think they might like or might need, we wanted them to speak about what they would like and what they need. And so without any major instructions, we gathered together people from the communities of Caledon, Brampton, and Mississauga, seniors who wanted to have an opportunity to be on the radio and had never had the opportunity to do it before, ooh, or, Todd, as you well know, um, we're very experienced. We had a, a prior CBC gentleman, Ken, Ken, Ken Dryden. Yeah, no, that's the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong Ken. <laughs> Ken. 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 I've forgotten his last name, but he but was. Ken was, it was an experienced CBC um, announcer, and he came on, and he was so professional. And it was a delight to see all of the experience sat around the table. And we have done um, <clears throat> the program where we've asked them to come up with the topic that they want. Um, the way they want to share it, and how much they want to share. So some of them have been extremely personal. Some of them have been stories. Uh, some of them have been memories. Some of them are present-day situations that people are living through that have been very difficult for them to share, um, but absolutely priceless. Mm -hmm, indeed. And I've had the pleasure of helping to consult in this project, but more importantly, learn and be humbled by the incredible knowledge that these seniors are sharing and mm -hmm. the courage that they have to share some of these stories. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Banwat, I had the pleasure of, of listening to your podcast that will be released on Senior Speak uh, in the near future. 
talking about this passion of yours about empowering seniors with technology, I'd like to start our discussion. Why? Why <laughs> is this such a passion of yours? When I got involved with the seniors about five, six years ago, I find a lot of seniors sitting home, doing nothing, getting bored. And uh, one of the things uh, which I found is, first thing is to get the seniors out of their homes. So once we get them out of their home, then we can do things with them, work with them. So in that process, uh, I was involved with the one Mississauga Seniors Club for many years, out of which uh, I was CEO for one year, then I was the president of that club for two years. So the program we set up there was uh, first to bring them out, and then they can socialize with each other. They come. I mean, our club starts at 1 o'clock. Seniors come there at 12 o'clock. Yes. They want a <laughs> yes. lot of time <laughs> yes. to talk. They say it's getting mm -hmm. bored at home. What do we do? So we right. just want to come there. Then uh, we want them to know about the environment, about the, what's going on. In, in our case, that was Mississauga. So what's happening there? What would interest them? If they want to participate, they can go there. We have a website. So we uh, can sort of give all the information. They can get connected with different people or different programs. So we provide information. Then uh, we said they should also, there should be education component there. So we invite a guest speaker. It could be uh, on different medical issues or uh, social issues or lawyers or nurses or health issues. So we will have some speaker come to our club and talk about uh, there. So seniors say they knew it, but it's just to refresh it. Yes. And just yeah. enforce it that that's what's needed, particularly health, health and exercise, it could be blood pressure, any other medical issue. So then uh, after that, uh, we felt that exercise is very important. So we introduced yoga there, yeah. half an hour, we yeah. did on the yoga class. Then we gave them a half an hour break. So they can again have tea, coffee, and talk to each other. Then the last hour, we introduced a cultural program, we call it. And there, the seniors can tell their stories, their experiences. If they have jokes to tell, they can tell <laughs> jokes. And they, if they have a song, something, they can sing there. And anything they want, right. we want to listen to the seniors. Right. And it, it became so good. I mean, uh, seniors, I mean, one hour was not enough for seniors to speak, I would say. I agree. And so, so technology, and we certainly know here in Canada, the stats will support. And people might be surprised to hear this. But the senior population, um, for, well, first of all, it's growing in leaps and bounds in Canada. The first time in history there mm -hmm. are more people over the age of 65 than uh, there are 14-year-olds in this That's country. Right, yeah. But fr from a technology perspective, yes, there's some fear around it. Yes, there's some trepidation about how does this work. Mm -hmm. But they are one of the fastest growing segments of our population working online. Mm -hmm. And what I love about what you're doing is you're bringing your expertise with technology to help empower these seniors, which can truly help with things like isolation, can it? So that's, uh, that's the next point I was going to bring. And then getting, empowering them with the knowledge uh, what's around them. So for that one, we thought uh, teaching them computer skill is very important. Indeed. So we ran at least, at least a few hundred seniors gone through this program. And uh, we did some research and we looked at what uh, tablets they should be using. Initially, we got the iPads, but I gave uh, training courses in any tablets. Uh, it could be SS, it could be Samsung or, uh, uh, or iPad. iPad is the most uh, user-friendly. So what it does is uh, it opens a lot of things. And uh, I've trained people who have never touched a tablet or a computer in their life before. Right. So we're talking about group 65 and plus 75 or 80 years old. So they learn, to, they, we create their email address, they learn to talk, just look, communicate with other people through email, through messages, through WhatsApp, or uh, they can uh, talk to, to their children, their families far away from their homes, uh, within Canada or outside Canada. Uh, so th it's, uh, they can take pictures. Yes. They can uh, go on the uh, internet, they can go on uh, any media, Facebook. You, you mentioned FaceTime the other day and just right, how yeah. vital that is to uh, mm -hmm. allow families to feel connected when they're separated by, by distance. It's, 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 they really feel so good. I mean, I heard from the senior, they come to us in the club. Hey, I talked to my daughter in India. I talked to my girl, uh, granddaughter in England. I've been talking to in Vancouver. So face to face, it's amazing. Yeah. Yes. It opens up the technology so much. 
it does. You know, I, I love bringing in personal stories, and I remember when my son went off to university for the first time, and my dad just wasn't well enough to travel. It wasn't that far even, but Ottawa was out of reach. And for my son to be able to use FaceTime, as you said, to take my parents on a tour of his new house in Ottawa. Right. And here's where I'm having dinner, Grandpa, and here's where we're doing this and we're doing that. As you said, it really makes them feel connected and a part of their family's lives. So important. So when they came here, when, when I was young and older days, I mean, <clears throat> my parents were in India. I mean, it's very difficult. We only can communicate through mail and writing letters. But now they can talk, they see the grandkids and the people sitting far away places. In real time. In real time, and that's yeah. amazing. And they can talk to them yes. in real time. So Liz, yeah. with your extensive experience in working with seniors, even in their homes, and trying to connect them, I mean, that's what Making Our Seniors Matter mm -hmm. uh, organization, the not-for-profit does. It helps to connect them with resources. Yes. Isolation is a really big issue, is it not? It's, it's massive. It's probably one of the, the largest um, even killers of senior citizens. Uh, loneliness is heartbreaking. Um, it leads to not eating well, uh, not exercising. You're not social, so you're alone. You feel alone. It, it, mental health issues become apparent. Physical health issues become apparent. So if they can't get out at all, I mean, Dr. Brown, what's right? If we can get folks to come out and join into a group, that's wonderful. But I'm even thinking of the people who can't do that and how the program, the iPad program, would be so beneficial to somebody who was sat at home and couldn't connect with anything, can't connect with. You could connect with resources through this program. You can connect with family. So it, it gives you a way outside of your walls. And even if all of that is is playing a game or joining into a group, a Facebook group or another group online, it's an ability to be part of the world. And when you're not in that world, you fail to thrive, which is which is what babies do. They fail to thrive, they don't grow, they don't develop. What happens with seniors, failure to thrive is a situation where they go downhill and they feel no hope for the future. And, and we want to change that. We want to make a difference with that. We want to make their lives a little bit better. I love that you just said that and gave the analogy uh, that you did about thriving. You would know about babies, yeah. I do certainly know about babies, but what I also love about what you just said is that at every age, we deserve to thrive. Absolutely. And and that's what I love about the work that we do with Making Our Seniors Matter and people like Dr. Banwat who link arms with us in the community because we do want to empower seniors to thrive at every stage and age. They have mm -hmm. incredible resources. They're intelligent people with great experience. Uh, you know, when you talk about being isolated, there are also other uses for this. You and I were having a discussion in the green room about my own mom. With mm -hmm. when my father was dying at home um, and of course she was his caregiver she was at home all the time because she couldn't leave him mm -hmm. well the realities of things day to day continues doesn't it yes, you have absolutely. to pay your bills yep. you have to get your groceries you, you were saying do... online banking is an opportunity that wasn't there before that right. kind right. of exactly and yeah. imagine what when you ask Google a question and right. you can get an answer. Uh, exactly, exactly. You know? And you can And you can read a book. And, and, you, and look at the things you can do. It's, you it's, don't have to go to the library to get a book anymore. Well, you don't. You right. don't. You can still belong to the library, but you can get an online book. You can get online books all kinds of ways. E-books. E-books, e e -books, that's right. right. Yeah. Exactly. But it is empowering Endless them to continue to be in control mm -hmm. of their own health and life. Right. And I think that is so important as well. And, Absolutely. You know, yeah, it was scary. I mean, my mom at first said, you know, online banking. Are you kidding me? I know. I know. There's people my age that don't love online banking. That's true. And you even said, "What is the one question that you always get, or the biggest fear about online?" Oh, the oh, the delete button was one of them. Yeah, yeah. they're petrified of the delete. It button. It will be aren't gone they? forever. Yeah. yeah, they'll lose things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, what I find, the seniors, they are very afraid to even touch computers. Yes. They yes. haven't done that. Yeah. But, uh, my experience shows once they. Even in four classes, they get so familiar with it, they love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you a story I mentioned earlier. Uh, I got a letter from one of uh, our seniors' daughters living in Vancouver. It was last year in March. There was a heavy storm here. And she needed some certificates from her. Uh, I asked her mom to just FedEx it to her, and she needed it urgently. So there was no storm there. She said she cannot go to the uh, post office. And she was really upset. She said, what can, am, am I going to do? Her mom suggested I can take a photo with my <laughs> iPhone and an email it to you. Imagine. He the said, mom, What? The mom said that. Fantastic. Yeah. And she's about 70 or something. Yeah. Uh, and she was totally surprised. And yeah. she wrote me a letter, got my dress from her mom, 
and thanked me for that. He said, I, amazing, you can teach seniors these computer yeah. skills. It is, it, and I have a, a little story too I wanted to share. I have a client who's profoundly deaf. So communicating for her is very, very difficult. And the phone now has become a real problem in that she's not hearing the words properly and she's yelling back and it's becoming really difficult. So she had an iPad and her communication came on the iPad through messaging and through email. She can now read what people yeah. want to tell her right. and write back what she wants to say. And it has lifted her depression, it's lifted her spirits, it's lifted her ability to communicate with everybody. And it's been huge in her life. And I, I just think this whole idea is phenomenal. Great. And making our seniors matter is thrilled to yeah. join so with Dr. Ben use depression. The way I feel is in the inactive mind, if you don't use it, mm -hmm. you, you're you forcing, lose it. you lose it and you mm -hmm. get into depression. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. we need to get people out of that. Absolutely. Well, clearly we can see and feel, if you're in the studio right now, that the passion for this is oozing <laughs> across the table. We're going to take a, a short break here in a minute, but we're going to come back and we're going to talk about what's next and what other things like scams online and how mm -hmm. we can keep these seniors safe online because that is a real concern and Dr. Ban Watt's going to help Me. to make sure our seniors are safe. So we'll be right back here in just a moment. That's good. Thank you. Hi, and welcome back to Let's Just Do This. Well, we've had a really engaging and interesting discussion about the power of technology and seniors. And we're thrilled to have Dr. Banwatt uh, and Elizabeth Cunningham from Making Our Seniors Matter here to really talk about technology and how it can change the health and well-being and empowerment of our seniors. Dr. Banwatt, before the break, we spoke about how you know, we also want to keep our seniors safe. Right. And when we're online, uh, we, there are scams. And they can be a vulnerable population. Actually, we all can be mm -hmm. vulnerable online. Right. So this discussion really is more than just about seniors. From your experience and expertise in technology, can you speak to those scams and security and how we can keep ourselves safe? Uh, it's a much bigger issue. And the, the way we did the was at Naval Club, uh, previously, we did a one-day seminar. So we felt the three areas very important. One is the scams, and in this one, we engaged our uh, appeal police. They sent a couple of people there to talk about different kinds of scams, mm -hmm. internet scams, and either other scams which uh, people come to your houses. So they spent about a couple of hours on that issue, how right. they can avoid it. So yeah, there was, uh, uh, the second issue was safety. So we had uh, some med uh, medical people or uh, uh, help for seniors at homes. Those people come and talk about the safety, safety in the house, safety outside the house. Right. So there's also, there's another two hours we spent on that one, how we can keep people safe from that point of view. The third thing we thought was very important for seniors is elder abuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had from PEPAN, which is a Peel Area Network Association here, so they get person from them to talk about elder abuse yeah. issues and how yeah. they should be dealt with. So there we picked up three and we put a whole one day seminar with the help of a government grant. Right. From so when we're keeping people safe and, and certainly online, because that's, that's really, really important. Um, do you have a couple of tips um, just to, to make sure, I, I certainly know one thing I always say to my mom, if you don't never give out personal information to That's someone right. mm -hmm. um, online, right, Todd? Or, or on the phone. Or on the mm -hmm. phone, exactly. Uh, if you know, without knowing exactly who it's from, and and just because they're very, they're Liz, seniors are a very compliant group. Well, right? I was just going to mention it. What pops to mind is if you didn't enter a draw, right, you're not going to win the prize. Right. right. If you didn't ask the question, you don't need the answer. So always think about what's logical, and always remember to ask if you can call them back. Right. You don't have to answer the question now. You don't have to sign the paper now. I love that. Any of that. I love that because it's empowering. And, and actually, my mom, because she's a little firecracker, um, did in fact do that. She had gotten a phone call, this was. Mm -hmm. um, but this happens online as well. Yes, it does. And, you know, she said, I would like to take your number. I'd like to speak to my family and I will call you back. Click. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? Exactly. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes they'll leave a number and it doesn't go anywhere. But being safe online is a real issue. That's a big issue. Uh, my advice is if you don't know a person, you cannot recognize the email, don't open it, just delete it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just delete it. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And please don't forward them. No, no please, yes, don't, forward please them. don't forward them. Exactly. <laughs> they could 
Yes, they can contain things that can corrupt our computers. Yes. Absolutely. I think, Margaret, one of the things that's important to know that I understand if you can go out and learn, but right. I still go back to the isolated folks who can't get out. Um, the Canadian Fraud Centre has a wonderful website with uh, current information about what's going on with frauds for seniors, and I think if you could keep that as a link, that's a wonderful mm -hmm. way to daily, weekly, monthly catch up with what's new, who's selling, who's stealing your jewelry on the street as they give you a hug for no apparent reason, right. um, asking for directions. Oh, there's so many little things people That's accept great. as normal behavior that. and we'll their sure, scams. We'll make sure, Liz, makingourseniorsmatter.com, you will put a link to that yes, that you just made absolutely. reference to. So you can go to mm -hmm. that website and get more information about that. And yeah. this isn't just for seniors. No. You know, the families mm -hmm. of seniors as well. Mm -hmm. We all have to work together to take care. It takes a village, as it absolutely. were. And it's really, really important. You know, Todd, I know that both you and I love to talk about this thing called neuroplasticity oh, yeah. <laughs> and how it's never too late to learn, but that can be frightening. I think there's a perception from some seniors that they wonder, is it too late for me to pick up a new skill? And, and, and you're dealing with seniors all the time, and I would say mm. no, you would say no, but um, it's never too late to learn anything, and it, it just creates... Um, some great uh, new learning and stretching your, your neurons in your brain. Can you sure. talk a bit about, yeah. uh, about that? Uh, the way I see it, I mean, if, uh, what happens is if you don't uh, open up, you don't learn new things, you just shut your mind, uh, your neurons just, just stop, they start closing. So keep them open is you've got to keep your mind active. Why? It, it doesn't matter if it's computers or it's new technology, knowing about the world. Are just socializing, talking to people. I mean, there are many things you can do, but don't sit at home. Get out and do something. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, exercise, then talking to people, learning new things. So that keeps you mentally active. So yeah. the two kinds of uh, health we are talking: mental health and physical health. So we got mm -hmm. to keep both. Uh, and He's both good. of those feed into emotional health as well. Right. Absolutely, they do. I, w I just wanted to say, Margaret, if I might, um, you know we're very involved with the Alzheimer's. Uh, group because of having Tipa Snow come to, to Brampton and, and Peel area to talk about Alzheimer's. And one of the things that they do suggest is that one of the ways to help your brain and to help prevent those kinds of illnesses and mental health illnesses is to learn something new, mm -hmm. like really new. And challenge yourself. And challenge that. yourself to yeah. it. Um, even if you don't... Young ages too. Like well, anytime. <laughs> Learn to play the piano. Learn yes. music. Music is supposed to be one of the most amazing things you can do to help your brain um, with it's, that it's math, wonderful world that you have. That's right. Uh, you know, and dancing, music, any of those things that where you're active and thoughtful at the same time can be amazing. Indeed. Uh, um, I know my, I'm, I'm making reference to my mom a lot. Thank, sorry, mom, if you're going to be upset about this, but I, she inspires me because, mm -hmm. you know, in this really cold spell that we had of late, um, it was not a lot of fun to be out walking. And yet my mom still was sending me texts and shaming us with her two minute planks at 75, <laughs> but walking in her condo Mm -hmm. to do 2.5 kilometers by just doing pace. My, my husband said, are you wearing like a spot in the rug? <laughs> because, but, the, but the reality is the yeah. mental capacity that that brings with is so mm -hmm. important. Earlier last week, we were with Senior Speak, the podcast. We were at Viva uh, mm -hmm. Retirement Community um, doing some podcasts with some seniors there. Something caught my eye on the way out from that beautiful facility that day, and it said brain gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brain they had, gym. They had the regular gym, and beside that, they had the, the brain, brain yes. gym. <laughs> and yeah. essentially, what that brain gym was is exactly what we were just talking about. It was a games room. Mm -hmm. It was a library and an opportunity for people to go in there and challenge their minds to continue to expand mm -hmm. and to learn something new. It is so important, and I love the fact that that is the way that they were showing That's their, the way they their see residents it. that this is so important. It's helping our mm -hmm. brains, and we deserve to live well until we don't. Mm -hmm. That's right. So making our seniors matter, not for profit, I'm so proud to be one of the early members of this, and we've seen such an amazing transition over the last three years with this organization. And if you're out there across Ontario in different uh, areas, we want to see this expand, and we need your help. We need the help with... In your, in your community, getting connected to resources for seniors and their families. We need funding. One of the things I'm also so proud of is to hear what some of the funding is going to go to. And it, it, it's important to speak about it right now when we're mm -hmm. talking about technology. I am so proud to be part of an organization, Liz, and I'm excited for you to announce 
What Making Our Seniors Matter is going to step up to the plate and do, they do a lot, but they're going to step up to do something to make technology more accessible and real for people. What are you going to do? Well, this is what happens when you have podcasts and guests on that bring wonderful <laughs> ideas and you go, I, I want to do that. And that's what happened when we met Dr. Benoit. Um, his suggestion about helping seniors uh, use iPads to communicate, to be connected to the world, and all of the ideas that go along with this, it was like, that's what we want to do. We want to make our seniors matter in a way that's tangible and that's real. It, it's not a bazillion dollar project. I, I like it because we can start small and we can grow it. So uh, Making Our Seniors Matter uh, would like to sponsor the uh, um, fund the beginning of Dr. Baumwatt's project in Brampton so that Fantastic. the city of Brampton seniors can start with the iPad project and get, we'll get some, we'll get started with people who don't have one, we'll make sure they have one to start with. For people who have them, we're going to start the classes and we're going to be led by this lovely gentleman and oh. we're going to make it happen in Brampton and we're so proud so to be doing that. The cost involved in that was very minimal, just the iPad cost which is about $400. Yes. And my services, teaching services are free. Uh, nice. Yes, his so rate I, is wonderful. His <laughs> rate is rate fabulous. Is wonderful. <laughs> yes. So whenever you need me, I'll be there to help. Yeah. And you've heard it here first on Let's Just Do This that Making Our Seniors Matter is doing that in the Brampton community and here in Halton and beyond. If you have an organization that would like to step up and link arms with Making Our Seniors Matter so that we can bring this to your community, to your TV. This is what this show is all about. It's about mm -hmm. linking arms. We're better together. And improving the resources and the lives of seniors to make it just a little bit better. So this is a call to action. If you're out there listening or watching this show, get in touch. We, get in touch. Go yeah. to makingourseniorsmatter.com or go to, uh, to the email that you see on your screen right now and let us know that you want to help. Uh, whether you're an organization or you're an individual that really sees the need and want to help seniors. Technology is so freeing and empowering, but together we can make this a pretty wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. I think so. That's right. Well, Dr. Banwat and Elizabeth, this has been a wonderful discussion, a great way to kick off 2018 on Let's Just Do This. I hope that both of you... It's a great you, New Year's resolution, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is I love indeed. It. I hope that you'll both come back and join us another time because I'm sure, sure we've just skimmed the surface and lots so, more to talk about. We'll so let you know how it's going. That, yes. What do you think, Todd? And we'll review our brain gym goals for the year, <laughs> won't we? We will indeed. Yes. We will indeed. And maybe on the studio doors coming in, because we're always learning on this show, it should say on the front door of Let's Just Do This, you're entering a brain gym. Because as our saying goes on, <laughs> Let's Just Do it's This, good... we challenge your beliefs, connect you with change makers, and try to educate and empower you to live well. I'm Margaret Wallace Duffy, and on behalf of Todd Miller and the entire incredible team here at Let's Just Do This in Your TV, Here's to an amazing year ahead and more amazing episodes on Let's Just Do This. Until next time, be well. Thank you.